Okay, so today we will be working on a 2014 Mac Mini. Bienvenue and welcome to 150 Days of Winter. Hello. Seven screws, one plate. We will be upgrading the hard drive to an SSD. Even though you need to dismantle the entire box to actually change the hard drives over, it is actually, initially it's quite daunting, however it is really quite simple and I think will take me about 10 minutes to do. Briefly the tools you'll need to get this job done, a, a T6 screwdriver, uh, a T8, a prying tool, a spudger and annoyingly a special little tool and I also have a pair of tweezers just in case. Okay, starting off, there are three clips at the two o'clock, the six o'clock and at the ten o'clock positions. With a pry tool, you don't want to go in at six o'clock, you want to go in just, you want to go in to the side and it'll pop out the clip. You're going to do that one and, and we're going to go and do that. We have these three T6 screws that are quite long. I say quite long, they aren't long at all. Then we have three very short T6 screws. very carefully lift this up and with that cable coming out we want to go and loosen this guy here. This holds the antenna in place and with that out we can carefully lift off that cable. Then we have three T6 screws holding the fan in. And thankfully these are captive, I think. No, they're not. And if we move this out, we can then see the connector that we want to remove, which is just down there. So with a spudger, we can now lift out that fan. We now need to remove the cover for this cable, which is for the SSD, not the SSD, sorry, the hard drive. So I remove that screw and remove the cover from there and of course now we can now lift off the hard drive cable need to basically remove the the IR sensor cable that is just there so we lift that up you then want to remove this T6 screw which holds the motherboard down and we want to take the fact is you need a tool like so i've seen other videos where people have basically stuck, stuck a screwdriver down this hole here and pulled uh if you want to try and do that by all means the video where they where they do that is uh uh of course he's already done it many times before but in our case we have got a special tool which basically we're going to go all Pulls out the drive, pulls out the uh, motherboard, and I can now remove that. We now have a little bit of movement here. I now want to remove the power cable, so I'm just going to go and rotate this. If I give myself a tiny bit more space, like so. 
lift up these cables. And I can disconnect this cable. Now the motherboard slides out. We now need to remove the power supply here, which uh, involves removing a clip. That I don't know if you can see the clip, it's just there. This guy just here. And now rotating the, the end of the power counterclockwise and of course removing this screw just here. We can now remove the power supply. Finally, this is where the hard drive is and there is one T6 screw on this side. we are removing and now we can out of the top remove the hard drive. Securing the hard drive are four T8 screws. And they are quite stiff. Now we just need to feed that cable through and disconnect this from here. We do this very carefully. There we go. And we have a piece of tape that is holding the connector in which is ever so slightly annoying. If you don't remove that tape, as before, you'll have a lot of troubles removing it. And voila, that comes up really easily. Now, you just have to do everything in reverse. So there you have it, uh, one old hard drive removed, replaced with a nice shiny SSD. I then now just need to transfer the information from this old drive to the new one, and it will be running Monterey far quicker than it was before. Uh, as always, if you'd enjoyed these videos, please click the uh, like button down below. Leave me a comment 
or even subscribe to this channel. And on that, I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.